Hi everyone. So in our previous video, we discussed that how to configure the interface as a port of a switch. We discussed the speed, the duplex, and shutdown, no shutdown. But in some of the situations, we may get some problems that the port or the interface of the switch may not work properly. In that case, we need to verify the Cisco switch interfaces. And for that, Cisco IOS provides us some help, or provides us some status codes. So with the help of those status codes, we can sort out the problem up to some level that what is the problem with that specific interface or port of the switch. So what happens? The operational status of a port or interface is identified by, identified by its status codes. It means status codes will help us to identify those problems. And we can see or we can access those status codes using these show commands. So one is show interfaces status and show interfaces. So these are two show comm uh, commands which we can use to find out the status codes and those status codes can guide us if there is some problem with some of the port or the interface of a switch. Clear? So these commands are really helpful. So what happens? These codes actually uh, are, are given as line status. So these codes are known as line status and uh, protocol status. So they give us the status of the line as well as protocol of that interface. So what do they mean? In the line status, actually they identify whether layer one is working or not. It means in data communications and networking, we talk about these layers and every layer should work properly so that we should be able to communicate. But if this, in this command, if it gives some information about the line status, and that information will actually guide us that there is a problem with the layer one. It means this physical layer is not working. If this status is going to give some information to us, line status, clear? So this problem means there may be disconnection in the cable. So there may be cable is broken or there may be there's a damaged cable or there may be pin out mismatch. So if you remember how to how to make a UTP cable, there are some pin configuration and if there is some problem then this line status code will tell us that there is a problem with pin, pin mis or mismatch or cable disconnected or this may be problem with neighboring device to which that switch is connected. So these kind of problems and many more problems, actually such kind of problems which are actually related with the physical layer, those problems will be indicated by the line status code. Okay, and the second type of code is protocol status and this actually identifies whether layer two or the data link layer is working or not. So this layer, data link layer, if there is a problem in the functionality performed by the data link layer, then we will say this status code will guide us that there's a problem with the data link layer. And the data link layer issues can be like, we can have incorrect configuration, so we have not configured these ports properly, these ports, or we have maybe incorrect framing. If you remember the job of the data link layer is to uh, make frames and forward those frames. So there may be framing issue, or there may be speed or duplex issue of that port. If you remember, we configured the speed as well as duplex in our previous video. So maybe we have the problem in, in there. So if the problem is on the link status, it is the physical layer issue. If the problem is on the protocol status, it is, is identified by this protocol status, it means the problem is on the data link layer of the uh, OSI model. Clear? So with the help of this, we are going to identify those problems are in, in the packet pressure. 
Now to demonstrate the idea to see the interface status of a switch, if there is a problem with some port or, or interface of a switch, I'm taking switches from here. So maybe one, two, three, and we want we are connecting a PC with the switches, so this is PC. And to connect them, we need a straight through cable. So this is straight through fast extender from here. 0, 01. So remember, we are using 0, 01 port here. Fast Ethernet 0, 01. So again, fast Ethernet 0, 01. And uh, now we have connected. So whatever by default setting of a switch are they, they it will boot with the by default setting. So whatever duplex speed. Uh, so with all these by default setting auto negotiated and this will be done and the switch will be connected with the PC. Now let's see, you can see this is green, green. It means now they are connected. And let's see in this condition what the uh, interface status shows. So for that, we need to go to privilege mode and here we use a command show interfaces and press enter. And you see in the show interfaces, it shows that fast ethernet 01 is up and line protocol is up. It means only that port which is connected with the computer is in is up and line protocol is up. So the first part of this code, this status code shows that the physical layer is, is working and the data link layer is also working. So up up status shows that they both are functioning and this ultimate result is that they are connected. But let's see what about other ports of this switch. So another interface or other interface of this switch is fast Ethernet 02 and this shows that this is down and the line protocol is down. It means the physical layer is also down as well and the data link layer is also down and the result is disabled. So we saw that only one port is in up up state and rest of the port maybe you can see the other port as well is like this. This also shows that down and line protocol is down. It means if some of the port is not connected with any of the node, then this will be in down and down state. And if they are connected, then this will be up and up. So Ethernet 01 is up, line protocol is up. So physical as well as data link layer are working and the connection is established and we can extend the information. Now, for instance, in this case, so same situation, but in this case, we are going to configure this port or this interface which is fast ethernet 01 as shutdown so what we do we go to fast ethernet interface so enable config t and then interface which we want to configure that fast ethernet 0 slash 1 and now we are in the interface mode you can see and here we are writing shut Shut down. So we have configured this port and that is shut down. And now you can see this color has been changed. It means now this link is not working. Now we can see the color, but if you go in the in the IOS and look at the um, interface status using this show interfaces command, then just maximize it and you can see this shows that fast ethernet 01 is administratively down and line protocol is down. So now there's a word that this is administratively down. So this in the physical layer part or layer one part are the first part of the of this status code. This shows that this is administratively down. We have deliberately made this. Now this is about this fast Ethernet 01, but if we see other interfaces of this port of this switch, then you see this shows that this is down and line protocol is down. So it means they are not connected, but they are not administratively down. It means we have not configured that port to be administratively down. You see, but for this port, sorry for this, so you can see. This is administratively down and line protocol down. When both of these stated codes are in down position, 
they indicate that the connection has been disabled our connection is not active and this will not exchange any information okay and the same command for example same command show interfaces if you are interested to see only one specific interface instead of all of the interfaces we can write the name of that interface like 0 and 1 so the same command will show us only the details about this interface not about other interfaces okay this time only this one if we enter enter this will be only for one interface okay so now see that let's see the second command that is show interfaces status so show interfaces status now the difference is that now every information about every port is displayed in single line so for every port you can see single line and the status column shows that this port is disabled okay and rest of the ports are not connected you can see these are not connected not connected so this is for this way so this port says that this port is disconnected uh, disabled and let's see here with the help of same command show interfaces status and again single line information about every port but for the first port if you see this shows connected and rest of the ports are not connected you see so with show interfaces we saw that uh, the port uh, this, this port is up and protocol is up and here with this command we says that I see that in status shows that this is connected and for this this shows that this is disabled and for rest of the ports which are not connected for them they show not connected so actually this word shows that this is administratively down and here this is administratively up and both of them are working so with these codes we can have some hints that what is the problem with with some specific port or interface of the switch we will look into other status of these uh, interfaces or uh, ports but so because sometimes because of security the port may show up uh, some strange results maybe sometimes duplex mismatch between the ports for example if we connect these switches together then we can also have some uh, mismatch if there is a mismatch then they will show down down and there will not be any exchange and if there is speed mismatch between the ports or the interfaces of the switch then again we can have we can be in trouble so with the help of these commands we can get some hints that which port has what kind of problem so i think uh, it, it, it i think this is for today and thank you